with last season being historically active and with similar conditions setting up for this season, there are concerns that this season could be just as active. The primary reason for 2020's hyperactive hurricane season was the strengthening of La Nina throughout the start of the season through the heart of the season. La Nina is the cooling of Pacific waters near the equator off the coast of South America. During a La Nina year, the vertical wind shear over the Atlantic and the Caribbean lessens. The lower wind shear gives storms a chance to develop and strengthen without any interference. The opposite occurs during El Nino years, when waters are warmer than average in the Pacific. During these periods, vertical wind shear over the Atlantic and the Caribbean leads to much more hostile environment for tropical storms and hurricanes to develop and thrive. Ken Graham, director of the National Hurricane Center, offers his thoughts on the role of La Nina in the upcoming hurricane season. Yeah, I think the overall season, when you look at all of the trends, with the climate models, and you you look at it's not just the surface temperature of the oceans; it's the heat content. So you you know that's why NOAA spends a, a lot of effort getting the gliders into the water to get that that total heat content. So everything points to at least average, right? An above average season. La Nina has been weakening since the start of the year. This weakening is expected to continue through the heart of the hurricane season, eventually leading to what's called end zone neutral conditions, neither warmer nor colder than average water temperatures in the Pacific. Neutral conditions would continue to favor lower wind shear over the Atlantic Basin, keeping a favorable environment in place for tropical cyclones to grow and thrive. There is also a possibility that La Nina could re-strengthen at some point during the middle of the latter part of the season, which would have big implications on the forecast down the road. Another factor is the Atlantic Multidecadal Oscillation, or AMO. This cycle alternates between positive and negative over a period of about 70 years. During positive phases, the Atlantic water temperatures are warmer than average. Negative phases are colder than average. There's a high level of confidence that going into the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season, we will be looking at positive AMO conditions in the Atlantic, which should combine with the effects of Enzo neutral conditions, and it should lead to a heightened activity of the Atlantic this season. In fact, water temperatures are already running above average over much of the Atlantic since the start of the year. The last and very important factor will be the position of the Bermuda Azores high. This large pressure system is what steers the storms across the Atlantic and potentially into the U.S. In 2020, the Bermuda Azores High was quite strong, protecting the Florida Peninsula and steering many of the storms either towards the Mid-Atlantic or Northeast or towards Texas and the Northern Gulf Coast, in particular Louisiana. This year, the Bermuda High is not expected to be quite as strong, and that could determine how many storms either threaten the U.S. or recurve harmlessly out to sea. Any slight shift or change in the strength of the Bermuda Azores High could mean the difference between storms recurving away from land out in the Atlantic or tracking mostly through Central America and in the Southern Gulf or tracking right over the Florida Peninsula, similar to the nightmare year of 2004 in the state. You would only have to move the Bermuda High, the high pressure over the Atlantic, I don't know, maybe four or 500 miles to the east and all those storms that got into the Gulf and all those storms that hit Louisiana, that would have been Florida's. So it's, it's tough to compare seasons because those synoptic patterns change and we get all those storms instead of somebody, somebody else in Florida. So uh, it goes back to the preparedness thing. You gotta prepare every single year uh, for being hit and being impacted by a hurricane. While much can change between now and the start of hurricane season, it is important to be prepared regardless of the amount of storms that are forecast. Review your safety plan and make sure that you and your family know what to do if another storm pays a visit to our coastline. I'm Chief Peter Derek Beasley, Fox 4.